Hi everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today we're going to be making a historical cake called a Roman honey cake. It only needs three ingredients, super quick, and very different. So for the Roman honey cake, all you're going to need are three eggs, seven ounces of pourable liquid honey, and two ounces of all-purpose flour. The first thing you need to do is with your stand mixer or a hand mixer, you're going to need um, some electronic power, which we can be thankful for, that we're not whipping these by hand like they would have back in the Roman times. Um, I'm going to put my mixer on to 8 out of 10 um, for about 5 minutes. We're going to cut and we're going to come back to show you what the eggs should look like and the stiffness um, at the end of the 5 minutes. So when the eggs have been beating for about four to five minutes, you want to look for um, the proper consistency of stiffness. So when you lift your tilt head, um, the eggs will fall into itself and it will just stay on top there for a couple of seconds before sinking back into. And you'll also notice a lot of air bubbles. You want all of those steps for this cake. It is very light and it's very fluffy. So you want all that air that's trapped in there. So I'm just gonna put the mixer back on low while we add the honey. The honey's gonna go in gradually on low speed. And we're gonna mix until it's all incorporated. I'm just going to stop and do a scrape of the bowl, then I'll do it briefly. It's really, really light, very airy, and I can't imagine how long it would have taken the Roman women to make this sort of a cake, whipping those eggs. One more stir. And what we're going to do next is fold in the flour. So we'll be right back in one second when we get rid of the mixer. So we're just gonna sprinkle in our two ounces of flour. I'm just gonna fold them gradually, mixing in the flour. It's really light, you wanna, when you're folding, you wanna make sure you're scraping the side, coming up down under the bottom, and coming up to the top. Gets all the ingredients incorporated together. So once you've folded in the flour, you will notice that there aren't any more flour chunks and that's how you can tell that it has been incorporated properly. The next thing you want to do is to get your pan ready. Now I'm going to use a 9 inch round pan, a single one. It's greased and it's laid um, with wax paper or you can use parchment paper for the center of it. You can use a different size of pan, um, but if you're using a larger, deeper one, then you're going to need to cook it for longer. If you're using a bigger, shallower one, you're going to cook it for less. This nine inch pan in my oven is going to cook the honey cake for 40 minutes and it comes out perfect with my conditions. So you might have to play around with yours. Um, like I said, with the rusticness of the recipe, um, you will have to fine tune it to best fit your environment and your oven. So just pour the whole thing into the pan of your choice. And the oven temperature for this recipe is 330 degrees. So make sure your oven is preheated to 330 degrees. And this is going to go in for 40 minutes. So the cake's been in the oven for the full 40 minutes. Nice and brown. Honey browns um, really easily to this nice dark golden brown color. And for this cake, um, we're going to flip it over right away. Normally you let it sit for a little bit, but it's best for this one to flip it right over. So we've got a cake board. Flipping it onto my cake stand here. And then I'll peel off my wax paper very carefully. 
Um, this cake would be really delicious for a brunch or a breakfast. It's almost like pancake-like with its simplicity. It has a very unique taste to it. So anything that you're going to that you just need a casual, kind of something different treat to take along with you. So what you'll do before you serve it up um, would be to drizzle it with some more of the liquid honey. Um, and as you can see, it's not exactly eye appealing. It's not a very pleasant looking cake. A um, couple things I can give you advice for to do for that. Um, adding whipping cream would be a nice decorative touch. Um, obviously the cake's too hot for us to put it on right now or just melt away. And it's not historical, so that's why we're not putting it on today. But drizzling any kind of liquid honey onto the top, um, onto each piece, that would be, that just kind of livens up the flavor a little bit. So this has just been a little bit of a historical cake made from three basic ingredients. And we hope you enjoyed it. And when you give it a try, let us know what you think of it. It's definitely unique and we're glad that we found it. So thanks for watching everybody. Remember to subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Facebook, Google+, and on Twitter. See you again next time.